What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Sylveon team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, Sylveon, one of my favorite EV evolutions, haven't used it too much in Regulation F. So when I seen this team, I was like, yeah, we're going to rack out with this Pokemon, use it, grab some wins for you guys. But more importantly, check out my shirt. Check it out. I just got this Super Mario shirt and I absolutely love it. Fits nice, looks awesome. I just love it so much. So I had to showcase it to the jeans community for you guys. But back to the Pokemon action. We got Sylveon in our top left hand corner. Rock and Pixelate in the Pixie Plate as its item. Rock and Hyper Voice, Terra Blast, Quick Attack, and Protect. Absolutely love this moveset right here. You got Hyper Voice, which changes into a Fairy move. Gets the Stab Boost and the Pixie Plate Boost. We love it so much. On top of that, Quick Attack, first turn priority, and it changes into Fairy type. And then we got Terra Blast, which can be water. We just love this moveset. I feel like this moveset works so perfectly with Sylveon, and we've seen a moveset similar to this in other formats, and it worked really, really well. Other Pokemon on today's team gonna be Incineroar and Rillaboom. The double fake out combo works so well. You get terrain control, you get attack and special attack drops with Incineroar. You just can't go wrong with it. Our final three Pokemon is going to be Porygon 2 for sport. You can pop Trick Room, you can kind of cancel out Trick Room, you can do whatever you please with that Pokemon. Then our final two is going to be Landorus with the Life Orb and Sheer Force and Wellspring Ogre Pond. Two heavy hitters, one on the special attacking side, one on the physical attacking side. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go showcase Sylveon in Regulation F. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Raging Bolt and Gouging Fire team. We love to use Sylveon here, that's two dragon types, and they also have Tinglu, who's dark type, and they also have Urshfu, who is a fighting type. So, let's be honest, Sylveon is going to rock out. You definitely want to lead this Pokemon, get it cooking for the squad. So, yeah, Sylveon, come on down here. We're going to lead Sylveon. Who else are we going to lead here? Because potentially, they're leading like Rillaboom, maybe Fluttermane. They have a few physical attackers, so not going to lie, Incineroar could be decent here. I do like Lando as well, but Fluttermane's kind of scaring me, right? Fluttermane is kind of scaring me, and I might want to lead like Wellspring over. It could be great. I say we do lead Wellspring over. I'm cool with that. So I'll go Ogre Pond. I will go in with Sylveon. I think their speeds are rather slower. Kind of thrive out in Trick Room. Yeah, that's 85. What are you, what are you at? 153, and you should be rather kind of around the Ogre Pond too, right? Yeah, 153. Same on the dot. Same on the dot. So I'm going to go into Ogre Pond, Sylveon here for the lead. I do like Lando in the back end. Just a solid Pokemon. Hits hard. And then last but not least, got to bring a fake out user. Now, do we want Incineroar? Could be nice. Incineroar could be good. Or we could go into Rillaboom. And I kind of like Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm going to go Rillaboom here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go Incineroar. Incineroar. We love Incineroar. We love it. It just counters Rillaboom so well. Plus, they have a few physical attackers that intimidate. But definitely help us out with. So, Incineroar in the back end. Always solid play. Always a solid play. But for them, I believe they're going to lead, like, some sort of, like, Fluttermane. Right? And if they lead Fluttermane, we might just want to protect their Sylveon and Terrasilize our Ogrepan. Maybe just Ivy College will just bop it, right? Just smack it up on the head. I know they end up going into these two, which I don't mind. I could make a swap into... I could make a swap into what's it called? It's in Cinema, which wouldn't be bad. This thing is gonna pro synthesis boost, probably boost speed. Not that big of a deal. Um, I mean, Hyper Voice is just so nice here. I might as well send it. We'll go Hyper Voice. And do I go follow me? Or do I maybe just Horn Leech here? Because what are you gonna use? What are you gonna use, Gouging Fire? I think this is safe to do. I mean, you might protect the Ting Lu. There's a chance you protect the Ting Lu, but I'm going to double down into it. I'm going to go Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice will hit both, and then Horn Leech, just in case this Gouging Fire wants to go for, say, like a Heat Crash into my Ogre Pond, or whatever move it wants to use. Maybe a Breaking Swipe to get an Attack Drop. We can just Horn Leech, get some HP back, and kind of go from there. But we're going to see a Terra pop out from him turn one. This is probably Ting Lu Terra, right? Little Biscuit. What are you going to poison? Fairy. Okay, Fairy's not terrible it's not terrible my moves gonna be neutral onto it i don't mind that too much i'm gonna see a burning bullet okay so he's protecting the gouging fire we like this we like this because we're going after team 
That works perfectly. Horn Leech gonna fly here. Do nothing crazy. And Hyper Voice gonna follow right behind it. Gonna get blocked. And I wonder what Ting Lu's going for. What does Ting Lu have cooking up here? Ruination. So he's gonna half my HP. Okay. He's gonna half my HP, leading me to think that he is gonna go after me here, right? I could Terrasalize go Terra Blast, which wouldn't be too bad. But I'm gonna stick with the Hyper Voice here. And I'm just gonna go for a Spiky Shield because I I believe he's gonna go after me here, right? With Gouging Fire. I think now's a good time to just Spiky Shield. And maybe Terrasalize next turn if we want to. But right now we're just chipping up damage. I mean, Ting Lu's a little bit of a problem. I think I might swap into Instant War, which wouldn't be a bad call for us. His Intimidate's gonna work wonders here. He's gonna go for the Breaking Swipe. So I blocked that. Breaking Swipe does not affect Sylveon, so that's a solid turn for us. And you're gonna take some Spiky Shield damage. We love it. We love it! And I go for another Hyper Voice here. So Hyper Voice chipping up some damage. And a Heavy Slam gonna fly here, which will allow us to soak, but still, we don't like that too much. We don't like that too much. Now, from here, I'm gonna go for another Hyper Voice. And honestly, do I just swap Sylveon? I think saving Sylveon could be good. Or do we swap Ogre Pond? I think we just swap Ogre Pond here. And we save it. We get off this lovely little Intimidate. Even though Sylveon's going to go down here, I love the damage output that it did. A bunch of Hyper Voices is going to fly through here. We should be good. Unless he goes for a Heat Crash into this. But I just don't believe that's happening. So we swap out Ogre Pond for Incineroar. We get off Intimidate on two physical attackers. The Gouging Fire is not holding clear amulet, so that's pretty good for us. Pretty solid for us. Another Breaking Swipe gonna fly here. I'm probably just gonna parting shot with my Incineroar regardless. And we're able to soak pretty well. Good save for a fake out turn, but Hyper Voice gonna fly here. Love the damage again, and Heavy Slam's gonna finish off Sylveon. So now Sylveon is finished off here. Um, we could honestly fake out sub up. Ooh. That's kind of looking pretty good. A fake out sub. I don't mind the fake out sub. I don't mind the fake out sub. I don't mind it. I do not mind the fake out sub play. Fake out the gouging fire here. He might burn your bulwark, but I don't mind this turn. Because if he's going to do anything, it's going to be a ground move with, with Ting Lu and Ting Cinderor. So I'm just going to fake out you. And there is burning bulwark. So I should have just read it. Kind of saw it. I kind of saw it. Right in my head. I seen it. I seen it. But so fake out's going to get blocked. I don't think he's expecting us to set up substitute. And maybe like a stomping catcher is going to come out here. Which I would actually like. Now I got sub. Now I'm subbed up. So I got sub. I'm gonna go for a rumination. And honestly, does that just take off sub? I'm curious. Does that just take off sub? Yeah, it just takes off sub. Okay. So he's taking off sub. Um. just protect here and go for a flare blitz do we think flare blitz will ko kind of hope i kind of hope b minus one the flare blitz can ko let's see let's see i'm surprised he went for ruination into that slot we have to start getting rid of these pokemon if we want a shot at winning this that sub would have been so big that's why i really want to do it so i'm going to protect lando here he seems like the bigger threat on the field who they're going to attack and he crash is flying into the slot, which is solid. So he crashed flying. I'm hoping Flare Blitz can just KO. I know I'm minus one, but still stab. Stab boost. Oh, this thing's bulky, man. This thing's bulky. I take a little bit of recoil damage. Ruination. Gonna double down into the slot. Okay. Um. Huh. What does my play here? He crash looking scary. He crash looking real scary. I'm gonna earth power you down. I'm gonna hope that another Flare Blitz can KO. <laughs> Two fire blitzes should take this out. Should take this out. So he's probably going for another heat crash here, which I think Lando could soak. We're hoping Lando can soak. And then we might need a parting shot with Cinema. Hmm. Heat crash gonna fire. You should soak this. You should soak this. You do. Beautiful. But I need it. I need that from you. Earth Power gonna cook. Say bye bye to you. And we'll finally get rid of these guys. These guys were just bulky sticking around here for a bit too long. And I mean, Flare Blitz should KO, right? Another Flare Blitz. Pour the KO. Get rid of Ting Lu. Thank you. Thank you. 
This one's not looking too good. They have still two full Pokemon. They haven't swapped once. We lost our Sylveon. We have low HP on Orlando. And I think now's their time to just like maybe parting shot with Incineroar and maybe protect Orlando. Depending on who they bring out here. They could have Fluttermane in the back end, which is... Mm, we don't like Fluttermane. I think that's how it's going to play out here. Urshifu comes out here. See, I want it Sylveon, man. I want it Sylveon for these these reasons. And Rillaboom. Okay, so Rillaboom's out here. Rillaboom is out here. So I wonder who he's going to attack. Kind of curious. I mean, they got a lot of options here. They could fake me out. I kind of just want a parting shot. Get fake out back. And intimidate. But I could read like a Surging Strikes and just hard swap him instead. So, I mean, we hard swap and get Surging Strikes cooking. Oh, that's actually good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that play. I'm going to make that play because if you are Surgeon Strike into this slot, I did protect Lando too because I believe Boom's going after that slot. But if you are going for Fake Out and like Surgeon Strikes into this Incineroar slot, Water Absorb is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. We still have a shot here. So here's to protect from you just in case Fake Out wants to drop into that slot. And fake Out is going into that slot. Now show me that Surgeon Strikes is flying after Incineroar. Show it to me. Oh my god, what a play. What a jeans play, baby. Come on, man. That's big time for us. That's big time. Bring an Ogre Pond up in HP. Um, Could throw a Sludge Bomb in this slot. We could swap into Incineroar, which might be a better play, just for Intimidate purposes. And that's going to be a play. We're going to Intimidate, and we're just going to Horn Leech this slot. We're just going to Horn Leech this slot. Oh my lord. What a play, baby. Come on, man. Brought us right back into this match. Brought us right back into this match. So we swap into Incineroar. Get that Intimidate off. We can fake out next turn. Horn Leech will probably KO Urshifu. We'll probably KO Urshifu. And he's going for Surgeon Strikes in that slot. That's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Because you, you're going to die out here. Actually, will you survive? No, I think you die out. 130. You can only survive 65. Yeah, no, you're dead. That's fine. I do like the Intimidate there, though. And if you're not Sash, Horn Leech is going to be massive. Maybe I should just went for like follow me that turn. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see, because Horn Leech flying here, KOing you. That's so big. That's so big. And we go back to up to full HP. So, Robloom's minus one. And now I get to go into Lando. And if we outspeed, which we do, we could just drop a Sludge Bomb. But you could potentially just like Grass God enemy. They do have Acrobatics. Oh! Acro bags, you crazy. You crazy. But I think play is pretty simple here. Did they use Terra yet, though? That's my question. Did you use Terra? We have Terra. Do you have Terra? Or, I mean, yeah. Do they have Terra? No, they use it already. That's beautiful. So from here, we can just go Sludge Bomb into a. Terra Water follow me? Or do we Terra Sludge Bomb? I think we Terra Sludge Bomb would be the better play. Yeah, we're going to Terra Sludge Bomb for the big time damage and just go for follow me. That's a play all day long. Let's do it. So a big time swap from us. Reading the Surgeon Strikes and a Protect in the same turn. Dodging the Fake Out. Potentially winning us the game. Because then Intimidate came out there. I didn't mind Incineroar dying out here. Now we have Lando chilling here with Sludge Bomb. With... The Poison Terror. So if this KOs, this is just a huge victory for us. Crazy match. Grass God is going to fly here. We're able to soak due to the minus one on Incineroar. Or from Incineroar. Now Sludge Bomb. Cheer Force. Life Orb. Get it on out my face. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy match number one. Moving on to match number two. That last match was a nail biter. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. But we're going up against a Hitmonlee team. I love it. I love it. Alongside with two Dragon types. Raging Bolt and Walking Wake. So honestly, Sylveon won't be good here again. We love a good old Sylveon. We're definitely going to lead it here again and try to rip up after it. Actually, I think in the back end, it could be a little bit better. So I think they're going to lead a Pokemon maybe like Thunderous here, which could be a big time threat, especially to all my special attackers. So going into a Pokemon maybe like Wellspring Ogre Pond is a little bit of a better bet. So I'm going to go into Ogre Pond here. Furthermore, I am going to lead Incineroar or Rillaboom. What do I want? I kind of think I'd rather want Rollaboom here. Because it does have the best. They have a decent amount of special attackers here. 
I'm going to go into them two, and I'm going to bring Sylveon in the back end, like I promise. And last but not least, probably more so just this late for Landers. It's just so strong. You guys seen it in last match, doing some big time damage with Sledge Bomb. But yo, that play, I was sitting there, I was just like, this is kind of our only way. So we're going to protect this Lando, just in case the fake out wants to come into this slot. And furthermore, we're going to swap and send, we're hoping the Surgeon Strikes attacks that slot. And once it did, we were like, let's go. Bringing our HP up to like almost full, allowing him to just pop a horn leech, finish that off, and then swapping into Incineroar, which Intimidate was massive. But they end up going into these two guys. We're not leading any uh, special attackers, so Eerie Impulse, we were looking out for you the whole time, because I would love to lead Sylveon here. But Hitmon Lee, love this Pokemon. Super dope Pokemon. Super dope Pokemon. And I could just Terrasilize here, but I'm not. I kind of want to keep my grass typings. I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to double down into Thunders here. You could be Cobra Cloak. You definitely could, but I'm going to hope that you're not. And you're going to go for an upper hand here. Oh! Upper hand with the fake out. And I flinch! That's actually awesome. And you're going to Sunny Day here as well. Could a Sunny Day. Upper hand. Ivy Cudgel not doing much. Upper hand. We love this. So I could go for Grass Glide if I want. I could go for Grass Glide. I could Spiky Shield here. Horn Leech going to be our friend. I'm going to Horn Leech into Hitmon Lee. Furthermore, I'm just going to drop Wood Hammer. Screw it. We're going right after this thing. We're going right after Hitmon Lee. You don't upper hand me like that. Now you're popping electric terrain. You're just putting out all the terrains. You're just doing everything. Terrain, weather, you name it. You name it. Taking away my terrain, which kind of sucks. Horn Leech still doing insane damage. Hit my lead. Bye bye. Such a lightweight. Such a lightweight, man. That's why no one used it. Woodhammer's going to fly here. Not get the damage boost, but still chunk up a decent amount. We like that damage all day. And again, if I can just get rid of this guy, I like where we're sitting. We can just get rid of you. You're sitting in a decent spot. But he needs to go. The Rage Bolt flies out here. I love our grass typing here. Calm Mind could potentially pop out here. And this could be a good turn for me to swap. Could be a solid turn for me to swap. It's Spiky Shield here. You have best. You, you could be going for a Calm Mind, which kind of sucks. Um, huh. I do want to get rid of you, so I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel that slot instead of Horn Leech. Um, I'm just going to go for a high, ho high, high horsepower here. I'm not going to force a swap here. Ivy Cudgel is going to fly here. We're going to say bye-bye to you. Get it all out my face. And I think a Calm Mind could be popping here. Thunderbolt could be too, considering you're boosted in special attack right now. But high horsepower is going to follow through here. And did we miss? No, we didn't miss. Cool. Cool. Oh, the damage output. The dam- Oh, it's a crit. I apologize. I mean, you got a crit for upper hand, so Rising Volt is going to actually do some massive damage to us. Yeah, that's double damage in the terrain with the boost stab plus protosynthesis. You got a lot going for you. You got a lot going for you. But from here, we could just go Sylveon. Quick attack can finish that off, which we love. And we still have Lando, so I love Lando. I do like Lando. So they're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It's going to be Walking Wake. Did we just go for a Hyper Voice here? They are faster than me, which is scaring me. They can't go for any dragon moves, which we love. Rising Voltage they can go for, which kind of sucks. Make me want to just go for quick attack right here. Honestly, I'm just going to quick attack, and I'm just going to try to pop a wood hammer into the walking weak slot. I know we don't have terrain, but I like this play. I do like this play. No dragon moves allowed. So big for Sylveon. So Sylveon's chilling here on the field. Walking Wake, Raging Bolt, staring him in the face. And I'm just going to go for a quick attack. And the reason I'd rather go for a quick attack is because... I don't want them to just outspeed me and go for a rising voltage and just KO me, right? Be a big time problem. But they're going to Terrasilize, and this has got to be walking, right? Okay, I was going to say, there's no way you're Terrasilize and Raging Bolt with, what did you have, like 10 HP? So no Terror comes out from Raging Bolt, we like that a lot. We're keeping our super effective Quick Attack rolling, and Thunderclap's going to fly into this slot, which we soak. That's nice. That's nice. Quick Attack going to finish you off. Beautiful. And now I have Sheer Force Lando. Driving in the back end with Terra, which we're definitely going to use Terra because I'm not, I'm kind of worried about a Hydro Steam, right? And I mean, you're soaking that, which is good. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. We got no double hitting moves. Wood Hammer flying through, actually doing a nice chunk of damage. And I'm going to take some recoil. Do I die to that? 
I do. Sadly, I do. But again, no double hitting moves allows me to just freely attack here. And honestly, I mean, we should probably just go into... Ooh, will Terra Blast even help us? It's gonna be tough. Do I just protect you? Because you can Hydro Steam me, which we don't like. I mean, our best bet is just go for the Hyper Voice. Terrasalize and just go for the Voice Power, right? Yeah, let's just not overthink this. Let's just not overthink this. This Terra type should help us soak up the Hydro Steam. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we're not we're not going to overthink it. We're not going to try to make a read. We're not going to protect. We're just going to double down. Keep attacking in this thing. Hyper Voice should still do a nice chunk of damage into this. And there's the Hydro Steam, which you should soak now that you have Terra. Should have protected. I should have made the read. I should have made the read. What was I thinking? You do lose some HP. How much damage Hyper Voice doing? Oh, it's KO and beautiful. I love you, Sylveon. You get a crit. Thank you so much. Even if we didn't get a crit, we should have brought it low enough to whereas uh, Quick Attack could KO. But hey, we'll take that win all day. We are two and zero. Oh. Third and final match on its way, and Sylveon is killing it in today's video. We love Sylveon. We love this Pokemon. Just awesome all around. We're going up against a Tornado's team with Archaludon, also with the Deli Deli Bird Iron Bundle. They have Golden Go, they got Cinnaroar, and last but not least, they got Wellspring Ogrefan. So, to be honest, maybe just popping Trick Room might be a good call for us. And I think I'm going to lead a. or lead PZ here. I just think. or not PZ, P2. I think it's just our play. I think it's a simple play. I think we gotta do it. I think it's gonna be our lead. So I'm gonna lead him. I am gonna also lead Sylveon here. Just try to look to get off some big time damage early on here. Actually, maybe not, because they do have Golden Go. So we might just wanna bring like Incineroar in the back end. I don't know, because I'd rather save the slots for Ogre Pond and, and Lando. But to be honest, that Deli Bird can just, oh. Deli Bird's a big time problem. I can't bring that, or I can't bring a boat. Because that thing's rocking freeze dry, which most likely it is. It's gonna be four times super effective on you. Four times super effective on you. Super effective on you. It's just a threat. It's just a big time threat. So I'm gonna go into you. And I, I kinda want Lando here. I kinda want Lando. Because Lando's gonna be super effective into the uh the Ogre Palm with Sludge Bomb, into the Arch Ludon, into the Golden Go with Earth Power. Really powerful Pokemon. So we have to bring it in here. And into the Incineroar with Earth. So Lando definitely has to be in here. Might want to save our terror type for that. But we'll see how this one plays. Considering we're already 2-0, we already grabbed ourselves a winning record. Still loving my Mario shirt. Look at this thing. Has like the year, I think it says like 1985. Yeah, you see it right here. Oh, dude, this shirt's so tough. I got a few other ones. I got like a yellow Donkey Kong one, and then I have like another red Mario one. They were actually gifted to me, and I love them. They fit me perfectly. So you guys are going to see me recording a lot in these shirts from here on out. Cinnamore coming out here alongside with Archaludon. Now, mm, do I want to pop Trick Room? Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. We go into the Water Terror. I do get a special attack boost, which is nice. I could go into the Water Terror. Could pop Trick Room. I'm going to pop Trick Room. We do have Fake Out, which is scaring me. I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect Sylveon here. I think if you're faking out anybody, it's gonna be Sylveon. We are gonna try to pop the Trick Room. I know they have slower Pokemon right now, but I feel as the back end Pokemon are gonna be faster. I'm surprised you didn't just lead Tornadus, right? Makes more sense just lead Tornadus. So instead of Terrasilize Sil Sylveon, we're just gonna pop a Protect here. Hopefully, fake out maybe Flash Cannon can come through here, and then we can just drive out with Trick Room. Could be really nice. Could be nice. Let's see. Fresh Protect from Sylveon. Flash Cannon is flying through here. And what are you doing, Incineroar? That's the real question. You parting shotting into me? You're gonna go for a Snarl. All right, we don't, we don't like that. We don't like that. <laughs> we simply don't like that. We simply don't like that. The Trick Room does fly here. We could swap into our Incineroar if we want to. See, did we even bring Incineroar? I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't. I could swap into like Mando. Which would be okay. I mean, we just popped Trick Room and kind of, kind of did it dirty. I'm still gonna swap in the Roll Boom here. I'm gonna swap in the Roll Boom. Um, 
I'm gonna go for a water terror terror blast into this slot. Now we can have Fake Out ready to go. So Arch Ludon, massive threat for us. Not trying to deal with it. They're probably looking to just go for Snarls. We'll see how much damage this water terror terror blast can do. I don't know. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Cause I just feel like this lead was just so perfect up against me. It really was. Cause now it's just slowing the pace of the battle down. We still have P2 at full health. Actually not at full health. Taking a little bit of damage from Snarl, but still at decent health in the back end. And we're gonna put the little water spout on top of Sylveon's head. <laughs> I love the terrors. I love it. Snarl's gonna fire. You are outspeed us in Trick Room. Kinda hurts so I shouldn't even have popped Trick Room. Shouldn't even have done it. Terror Blast now gonna fly. Minus one. What are you going? Maybe half damage? Maybe even not. Yeah, not. Mmm. Her soul. Flash Cannon's gonna fly in this slot, which we're soaking pretty well here. So we soaked that rather well. I could do a hard swap here, which wouldn't be a bad play. Um. And I could just fake out in Sinor. But again, you could just start snarling me. I think I'd rather just start trying to get rid of Incineroar. I'm gonna double down in Incineroar here. Doubling straight down into it. Snarl, high horsepower, and maybe swapping Sylveon later. Could be good news for us. But I just have to deal with this Archiludon. Luckily, we're not boosting anything. He's not going for Electro Shots. He's not just boosting up stats here. But he's going to take a hard swap here. And he's going to go into... You're going to go into Ogre Pump, which is a really, really perfect swap here. The most perfect swap. So Terra Blast, going to Water Absorb, High Horsepower, really doing nothing. And a Draco Meter going to fly into here. Wow, I wish we had our Fairies. <laughs> our Fairy typing now. But this thing's uh, attack is low now. And now this might not be a bad turn for me to double swap. It might not. If you can go for a Horn Leech here, you might swap into Incineroar. And I think we swap into Lando onto this slot right here. And then we just swap into P2. I think we do a double swap. I think we do a double swap. Because I think Horn Leech comes into Sylveon's slot. Um, I think Incineroar is going to go swap an Arch Ludon. But I think we might see three swaps here in an attack. We'll see. But I think now is a good turn for me to swap. Because I get Fake Out back, I get my stats back from my Sylveon, who's sitting, what is it, minus two? Or actually minus one. And I get to bring back out the Glass Duck. So the Glass Duck is here. We're going to download, we're going to get a special attack boost. Beautiful. And Arch Ludon's going to get swapped into Incineroar. Correct. Am I correct? No, Tornadus. Come on. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Now we're sitting here in Trick Room with slower Pokemon. They got their faster Pokemon out on the field now. Now their faster guys are on the field. This has got to be Horn Leech here, right? Oh, oh, wow. Four swaps. You're going into Incineroar? Yeah. Four swaps come out here. Four lovely little swaps. Attack drop flying through here. I think we just protect Lando. I think we play it simple because if you're going to fake out anybody, it's going to be Lando. So we're just going to protect it, and since we are plus one on special attack now, we can throw some ice beams around with the duck and actually do some damage. Wow, what a match so far. Yo, we are, we are having some good matches in today's video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. They're going to protect the Lando. Fingers crossed for the fake out going into that slot. I would think so, right? Unless you're making a hard read. Yeah. Pretty simple play for them. I would do the same thing, even if I thought that maybe they wouldn't protect. I think you just, I, th I just think you have to fake out, even if you think they're protecting. So now Rain Dance gets set up. Ice Beam gonna fly. And the Duck picks up the first KO. The Duck hits hard, man. Download Duck. The DD, dude. He's a designated driver. Download Duck. DD will start calling him. Picks up a big time KO. He hits hard after download. The designated driver, dude. Ogrepine now follows through here with the Rain. Don't really like that because we don't have to protect. Um, actually, Trick Room is out and about, but you are rather fast. You are rather fast. 153. Mm. Our Ogre Pond is also 153. Are you boosted in speed? That's the real question. You are. You're fully maxed out in speed. I don't know if I should go for a Sludge Bomb here. Screw it, I'm going for Sludge Bomb. We're going for Sludge Bomb here. We're just gonna double down to Ogre Pod. We're doubling straight down into it. It could be Spiky Shielding. And he's gonna go for a Water Terror. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. Works out perfectly. Works out perfectly. So we still have, which is great, 
We still have Rollaboom, which plays a massive role for us here. We're gonna get a special defense boost, which is huge. Maybe I should have went for an Earth Power into that Incineroar slot. Sludge Bomb, our Trick Room was working good. We get off some nice damage. No poison. Ivy Cuds are gonna finish this off all day. See you later, Lando. Thanks for playing. So now they have a massive threat with Archaludon in the back end, and I don't really know how I'm gonna play up against Archaludon. I really don't know. I'm gonna get snarled on here. And I'm pretty forced to just bring out. Let me freeze though. No freezes. I'm kind of forced to bring out Rillaboom here. I might swap into Sylveon because Water Tire Blast could be good. So yeah, I'm going to go into you here. Um, I don't want to see what he's going to do. Or I want to see how many turns are left in Shurken because he might just spike your shield if it's one. He might just spike your shield if it is one. Oh, Shurken's not even out and about. You might want to pop it here. I'm going to go for high horsepower and need a spiky shield coming out here. And then just pop a trick to help us out. Which all Incineroar? Wow, and Archer Ludon's going to come out here. So that's actually pretty good for us. So we get off a of high horsepower on the Archer Ludon. We're having fingers crossed over here for the spiky shield popping out here. And it is. Let's go. That's a big turn for us. That's a big turn for us. The big turn for us. The solid turn for us. High horsepower flying in this slot. That's half damage. So he's going to get a stamina boost. But still, half damage on an Archer Ludon is huge. It's huge. And Trick Room is now flying. It's now flying! So now we're sitting here. We could grass guy. They are going to swap. I'll put a million dollars on here that they're going to swap Ogre Pond for Incineroar here. So I'm just going to high horsepower this slot. Let's be honest here. I'm going to play that. And if they're going to swap, I'm going to swap here too. Into Sylveon. That's the player. You're swapping. Like, again, a million Poke Dollars. Not real dollars. I wish I had a million dollars. I wish I had a million dollars, but we're going to swap to P2. We're going to bring out Sylveon. Incineroar has to come out here. Has to come out here. It's an absolute must. It's a must. What'd I say? What'd I say? Give me a million dollars. Million Poke dollars. Pay up. Right now. Right now. He's going to intimidate me. We are going to be able to get off high horsepower. It's pretty good. Lovely little high horsepower. And then we're just going to swap our Rollboom. Drink immediately. Chill on me, man. Soak this. Love you. More than half. And now you're minus one. Now you're probably going to have to swap, uh, what's it called? Now you're probably going to have to swap, uh, Arch Ludon. And yo, dude, the matches that we're having today, hopefully you guys are enjoying the longer videos. This is a good video. This is a great video. So Incineroar going to get back some HP. We do have Water Tire Blast. You could swap Incineroar thinking I'm going for Water Tire Blast, but I think I'm just going to start ripping, uh, Hyper Voices. But from here, we're going to swap back into the duck. Then we're just going to have to rip Hyper Voices. Could be going for Snarls, but Hyper Voice is going to be my friend. Hyper Voice with the Sylveon. This is actually, it's looking in favor of them. But this is just such a good matchup so far. They do have Fake Out if they want to use it. If they would like. But I feel like they see Rillaboom as a threat, so if they're going to Fake Out anybody, I would hope it to be Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom is the only one kind of deal with damage right here with high horsepower. But we're going to swap. You might think I'm going for Water Terror Blast into that Incineroar slot. So you might be swapping him back into Ogre Pond. Now I'm bringing out the Duck. I'm going to download. I'm going to get the special attack boost. He's going to fake out. Yep, the Rillaboom slot. Like I said, Hyper Voice now going to connect. Damage we love. And he's going to get a stamina boost. And it's an Electro Shot. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Electro Shot coming here. Finishing me off. Alright, good game. Yeah, it's that, that pretty much wraps it up. Is that your stamina boost with Archer Dude on? My terrain ends rather. Oh, wait, we soaked. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Wait just a minute. You could snarl me. You could snarl me. Hold up, yo. We ate that Electro Shot. That's massive. That's massive. We're going to look to double down in this slot and rain end it. Rain end it. We're going to go into Hyper Voice. We're going to double down into this slot because I need Arch Ludon gone. You soaked that Electro Shot. I love you, Sylveon. I love you. You just gave us a fighting chance. Honestly, Incineroar could just KO us right here. It is looking scary because I'm pretty sure Incineroar is slower, which means it's faster in Trick Room. I think we already proved that theory in our first set of Trick Room. But I'm hoping he just swaps Incineroar, man. I'm really hoping that. 
I think that can come up so clutch if he just swaps Incineroar. I think it definitely can. Just for Intimidate's back? Yeah. We love it. We love it. You probably have Assault Vest on Archeludon, so you're not protecting. Ogre Pond gonna come out here. Body Aspect gets a special defense boost yet again. Um, Ice Beam Flying, we're doubling down into this. Download Duck, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And Hyper Voice finished off Archeludon. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, man. Terrain should end soon. I'm hoping it ends so I can bring back out Rillaboom just to set it again, because we're going to need it. We are going to need it. So now he's going to, now he's forced to intimidate two special attackers. Yo, the matches today. Sylveon's playing wonderful. Intimidate comes out here. You can fake me out. It's whatever. How many turns are left in Trick Room and everything? So Grassy Terrain ends next turn, which is great for us. Trick Room ends next turn, which is okay for us. Um... We're just going to stick with Hyper Voice here. We are just going to stick with Hyper Voice. 1,000% our play. I could definitely go into Water Terror Blast, but Follow Me could come out. I'm just, I'm sticking with Hyper Voice. Playing it simple. I'm going to fake out the P2. I'd rather you fake out the P2. I'd 1,000% rather you fake out the P2. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Bring you guys both down. Insanely low. Ivy Cards are going to fly here. And he's going to go after the P2. You kind of just... Helped us almost pretty much win this match. I have quick attack ready to go. I do have quick attack. And if I can just get rid of Incineroar with quick attack, which I think I can, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to go for Trick Room here. I'm going to pop the quick attack. I'm going to hope that quick attack can KO. I think it should. Neutral. Stab damage. This thing's low HP. Wow, what a match so far. What a match. And we're just going to try to pop a Trick Room onto the other slot just so we don't have... Or just so we can control the speed of this match. Wow, three matches all going pretty far. Going this and swaps in and out. I think all three matches today were just incredible. They really are. But we are 2-0. We're still looking for that perfect record. Quick attack. Ouch. Not nearly doing enough damage. Not nearly doing enough damage. We are soaking with the Duck. He's going for a flare, but he's doubling down, so you are going to take a little bit of recoil damage here. I don't... I mean, we still have Rollboom, which is great. Um, how much recoil do you take? Enough for quick attack to KO? I don't know. That's a problem. Hmm. What's our player? Fake out quick attack, double Incineroar? Because I don't think Ogre Punk can KO you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, then we can just spam Grass Guy until we win the game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, double down. Double down Incineroar. You could spike a shield here as well. I think we just have to make sure Incineroar goes down here. And the reason we're using two first turn priority moves is because one, I know it's not rocket protect. And two, I mean, fake out was KO. That's what you could. But still, this works out perfectly. But two, uh, Incineroar outspeeds us, so. Look at that flying here. I think you're going after Sylvia more so than anything. Or who are you going after? You are going after my Robin. Robin, you should soak. Cool. Yeah, so that's all I needed. I know he wasn't able to KO my uh, Robin. So I was just making sure Incineroar went down, and now I can just spam Grassy Glide. Because my problem would have been if I faked out the Ogre Pond, and he he just takes out my my Sylveon. Yeah, because if I would have faked out the Ogre Pond, and he takes out my Sylveon, then I would have had to choose of who I could KO, and then he would have had a shot at winning the match. But from here, we're sitting in a perfect position where now we can go for Hyper Voice, Grassy Glide, and we win this match. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. It wasn't easy, but that's too easy. <laughs> Man, dude, what a... Dude, we had some great matches. We're going to take some spiky shift damage, which we don't like, but we are going to get back some HP here, which is good. And we're just playing this one out slowly. Slowly but surely, a 3-0 perfect record. 3-0. Wow, this was probably my... 
my hardest fault at the Rio Perfect record. Hardest fault. Hardest fault. Out of all, all the videos I made, this might have been the hardest fault at the Rio Perfect record. He's gonna land a double spiky shield. Surely you can't land three, right? <laughs> Surely you can't land three. I think that's their only bet. But like, you lost this match. Three minutes left. Wow, yo, this battle's been going. It's been going for some time, man. It's been going for some time. Another, one Hyper Voice should KO him as well. And yo, if you land another Spiky Shield and I die out to Spiky Shield, this is gonna be upsetting. But we're gonna go for this again. I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice. Getting out of hand at this point. There's no way you're landing three Spiky Shields in a row. Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna be so upset. <laughs> That would have been a that would have been a tragedy. But finally, their spike shield shield fails. Gray Sky flies out here. We can wave bye bye to Ogre Pond, and there you go, three zero perfect record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sylveon lighting it up on the rank ladder today. Amazing three matches. Every single match went the distance. Came very close. We were swapping in and out. Just couldn't have asked for a better recording session for you guys today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.